Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to the second part of Back to Back with Passion. Again, I decided since I do this about maybe once or twice a month, I should probably call it something. So, from now on, if I forget to film on a day, um, you can expect Back to Back with Passion, which is pretty much just back to back videos on the same day. Which, that's what this is. So, um, this morning I talked about, um, a relationship that didn't was necessarily mostly just friends, but was still a very good relationship. And was sad that I ended it with Cecily and Louis in the episode Christmas is Christmas in June. And now I am talking about Sarah, and of course I've talked about her many times on this channel. I've talked about her maybe like three or four times, but I've done two videos on her, but I've probably talked about her three or four times because Sarah is a very, very, very good character. She's my sister's favorite, my favorite girl personally, but I do like Sarah. Um, and the fact that Sarah finally gets a boyfriend in season five, I think it is. It is season five, which comes back to, yeah, season five. Um, so pretty much, Sarah's love life complex. In, um, season three, I think it is, she meets, um, uh, Marshall Zach Morgan, who is a man in his thirties, maybe twenties, way older than her and she falls for him like actually she has an infatuation which i think we all get those i don't think i have but i might you know <laughs> um actually i got an infatuation with all these tv shows so i guess that counts but um anyway it doesn't work out because of course it was an infatuation but in the season five episode, Enter Prince Charming, we meet the minister, his wife, and their son, Booth, who Sarah thought was a ten-year-old, who she didn't want to watch. Then she finds out he's a teenager, and is very rebellious and rebellious. She's like, eh, at first she's a little weird, then she's like, you know what, I like this guy. And the two actually do end up courting in the next episode, Minister's Wife. Where, of course, at the end, um, Booth does end up moving away. And in season six, when she returns, she doesn't mention anything about Booth. So what happened there? Well, it's simple. When they were in Avonlea for those few weeks or months or whatever, they were courting, as we saw. And then Booth and his family moved to a different place because of his mother's health. So, either he and Sarah both moved on from that relationship, or they exchanged letters and then eventually mutually decided that this wasn't going to work. Or maybe Sarah still is, or maybe to the stick, Sarah still is courting, why do I keep throwing this, is still courting Booth, but, um... But she doesn't want, maybe she just doesn't mention it because Aunt Hattie probably knows about that. Or she doesn't want Aunt Hattie to know that she's still going out with Booth, who knows. But yeah, this was actually, I was actually surprisingly, <laughs> Sarah's actions sometimes make her feel like she's a bad character, but she, she really just wants to be herself and not have Aunt Hattie have continuous hold in her life, so... I mean, her actions make sense. I mean, if someone planned out my life for me, I probably would do the same thing, but... Yeah. So anyway, what happened between Sarah and Booth will probably remain a mystery. But, that is where us, the fans of Road to Avonlea, come in. We can assume things, or we can not assume things. Like, we can assume... Maybe Sarah went to visit Booth wherever he was, and she found him with another girl, and that ended things. Or maybe they should decide to end it. Who knows? So yeah, that's going to pretty much it for this video. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you tomorrow for another Couple Clash video. Alright, see you.